Now, titanium bikes have long been popular with cyclists, especially if our previous video roundup from 2014 is anything to go by. People are still watching that thing. But in a world of endless carbon fiber options, titanium is such an attractive choice because it's lighter than steel and both stronger than aluminium or steel. Plus, its high fatigue strength means the titanium frame should last forever. It also helps that they're bloody beautiful bikes too. In this video, we've picked six of the nicest titanium bikes that we've tested recently, with options ranging from race bikes to do everything adventure bikes. So let us know what titanium bikes you'd love to see us reviewing in the future, or what we've missed from this list in the comments section below. Without further ado, six of the best titanium bikes. First up is the new Kinesis ATR V2, which carries on from where the original model, the ATR, left off. It's a brilliant multi-purpose frame set that's been updated since its first incarnation to follow the trends in the gravel bikes as they've evolved. As such, it's a bit more towards the bike packing end of the drop pass spectrum than the first bike was, with a stronger frame, bigger capacity for wide tyres and a slightly tweaked geometry. None of the changes have really affected its prowess on the road though, it's still a superb basis for mile-eating tarmac based riding. The new frame can be fitted with rack and mud guards and ups the bottle count to three with the third being found under the down tube. And now that's a spot commonly used by bike packers for stowing tools in a tool bottle or fuel for a stove. The ATR V2 shares more than a passing family resemblance to the original in terms of ride. And that's a good thing because that bike was hard to beat in terms of long distance ride comfort. It's a sweet ride and perfect as the basis for a long distance gravel or bike packing build. The frame's responsive, taut and springy and it's lovely to be aboard. UK based Riley Cycle Works has produced the Gradient as a do everything adventure and gravel bike with a lovingly finished titanium frame and smart specification. The frame is made carefully profiled tubes to provide the right balance of stiffness and compliance. The down tube has a flattened top section and the top tube is tapered to provide a more lateral stiffness in combination with an oversized 44mm head tube and chunky chainstays. The gradient provides a lovely ride, it's composed and comfortable, the titanium frame providing a sublime balance of stiffness and comfort. The carbon fork and oversized head tube gives the handling a crispness and it changes direction quickly when you want it to. Switching from hard to loose surfaces shows the gradient's handling to be well honed. It's fast and steady on the road, but plenty of fun if you want to throw it through corners at high speed. The gradient is right at home negotiating narrow tree-lined single track with loose corners and steep climbs and would be a good choice if you're looking for a bike to tackle one of the growing number of gravel events, like the Dirty Reaver. So if you're in the market for a titanium adventure road bike, with a geometry and tyre clearance for tackling mixed terrain or off-road adventures, and like the option to be able to fit a rack and mud guards, there are a few good choices vying for your hard-earned cash. Well, you should probably make that short list one bike longer with the Riley Gradient. The Arjak from young Rutland-based company J Laverack combines the classic titanium appearance with a ride that's wonderfully smooth and entertaining when you up the pace. J Laverack, if the name is new to you, is one of the newest brands on the UK market. And it carved up a bit of a niche for itself with the disc-equipped Jack, a bike with go-anywhere four-season abilities. Ditching the disc brakes now and taking on a racier persona, the new R-Jack is a more conventional road race bike. It's a bike that really lets you climb, sprint, chase, surge and plummet to your full potential. It promotes confidence, never getting nervous or twitchy. You can exploit its nimbleness through challenging corners and the weight, albeit a small penalty over the equivalent carbon bike, doesn't detract from the ride. Let's face it, 7.5 kilograms isn't exactly heavy. And on those climbs, the stiff front end comes into play and really lets you lean on the handlebar and wrestle the R-Jack up any steep gradient. 
While it's billed as a race bike, and it will certainly suit the performance-minded cyclist watching this, in my mind, it's a better match for a cyclist wanting a comfortable and smooth ride for tackling long distances. That's where it felt most at home during testing, providing big mile comfort rather than the snappy and demanding nature of a tight Criterium circuit. J Lavrak might not boast as much heritage as some other titanium brands, but it succeeded in designing and executing a finely balanced road bike. The Arjak is a bike for someone who wants a fast and comfortable ride with the unique properties of titanium and isn't overly concerned about the weight or the price. On those merits, the Arjak can certainly hold its head high against its competition. Modern road bikes are evolving rapidly, but the Van Nicholas Chinook with its external headset, bottom bracket and cable routing combined with the race bike geometry provides a classic appearance that appeal to many cyclists turned off by the latest modern road bikes. If the looks don't win you over, the sublimely smooth ride experience will. The Chinook is a real delight. It's not only the appearance, but the geometry that shuns trends. It's a case of a classic long top tube and short head tube here, which puts you in an aggressive position that's best to extract the most out of the bike. Because of the minimally sloped top tube, there's not a lot of exposed seat post compared to some compact frames, but this didn't appear to dent ride comfort that any longer exposed seat post typically provides. Despite its skinny tubes, the Chinook doesn't exhibit any undesirable flex when you really push it close to its limits. Granted, it's no masterclass in stiffness, but you'd need thighs the size of Andre Greipel to really find the limits. And no one at RoTC does, especially me. What it does exhibit though, is a lively character. Sure, it doesn't have the razor sharp precision of a top end carbon race bike. But critically, it doesn't feel soft or vague if you like to attack yourself over crests and rises or keep up with friends on carbon race bikes. The Chinook is a bike that revels in a wide range of riding situations. It's happy being ridden fast and hard and will make a fine race bike. But it's more than a finely honed race bike. It's right at home on long journeys where the lively ride and comfort ensures that it just puts a smile on your face. The Alchemy Eros is a sublime road bike. It handles with grace and finesse and compares not well only to titanium road bikes, but also the best carbon fiber frames too. Alchemy builds the Eros using US source titanium tubes and the quality of the welding is as good as we've seen on similarly expensive titanium frames over previous years. An oversized bottom bracket, large diameter down tube and tapered head tube form the backbone of a frame and lend it a high level of stiffness that is so readily apparent when you sprint up a climb. What the Eros does extremely well is make the case that titanium still has a valuable place in the bicycle world. What gets some cyclists all misty eyed when talking about titanium is the magical ride quality it offers, which essentially comes down to the fact that titanium is lighter and stronger than steel or aluminium but offers better vibration dampening than both materials, making it possible to build a very comfortable frame. But don't be fooled into thinking this means a lack of stiffness. Put the power down through the pedals, heave on the handlebars, and it's responsive, relaying your commands into direction changes with no noticeable lag. Despite the light build, it also felt settled at high speeds and in demanding situations providing all the confidence you need to commit to a challenging road full of bends, curves, and dips. Make no mistake, it's a thrilling ride. So if your numbers come up this week in the lottery and you want one of the most beautiful handling road bikes, make sure to give the Eros a closer look. It puts in a stellar performance and excels at everything, fast on the flat and climbs, comfortable on longer rides, and a joy in the descents. And finally, it's time for something a little different. The name of the first model released by Bristol Snowden Bikes is apt, the Paradox. It doesn't look it, but it'll take many a drop bar carbon whip it to the cleaners. And your lower back will thank you. 
Not everyone wants or needs drop bars. For some, it's health reasons. Maybe arm, shoulder or back issues preventing placing a lot of weight forward. Perhaps they want a more upright stance for dealing with traffic or neck issues come to the fore with a more bent over position. Maybe they just want to enjoy the view or prefer thumb and grip shifters. This is the first flat bar bike we've reviewed through the prism of someone addicted to going fast in an aero position on drops. And we have to confess, general consensus was that it would be nice for a nippy commute or for those with chronic back issues, when in actuality, the exact opposite is true. Because drop bars protrude much further forward, typically 60 or 70 mil over a flat bar, a bike designed for them has to have a shorter top tube stem length to maintain the same forward lean and so it doesn't handle like it's a float. Fundamentally, you can't just bung a flat bar on a bike designed for drops and vice versa. Or at least not if you expect sensible results. You need something fit for purpose. The Paradox answers all these needs, but with absolutely no compromise to the rarefied air of high-end titanium custom road bike building. Sublime well quality aside, the smaller triangles and use of large, subtly bi-ovalized down tube and hourglass chainstays mean this is a bloody fast bike, period. After the first hour, tester Mike realized he was being schooled in how not to underestimate based on cockpit arrangement. If you pull up to the lights or start of a descent alongside a paradox, more fool you if you think it's gonna be an easy win. So, six lovely titanium road bikes and something for all riding styles and wallet sizes. But which is your pick? Or maybe you think there's a bike we've not reviewed that we need to. Then let us know about that in the comments section below. Give this video a like if you do in fact like it. Subscribe if you haven't already for more like this weekly. And as always, thanks for watching.